Hi everyone, I'm Florence. Welcome to my channel. In my latest tutorial, I show you how to create these adorable baby booties. I created this pattern for the crochet club. I am one of the instructors and I wanted to create a design for future event. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make all the stitches I used for, to create these bodies. How to make, for example, a chain, which is used to start the sole of the bodies. How to make a single crochet, used here. An alpha DC, used there. Alpha double crochet, sorry. Two double crochet together, use in this part of the body. Alpha double crochet in the third loop, which was here. And a single crochet in the back loop only, which is this one. For this tutorial, I'm going to use some leftover I have from my bodies, which is an acrylic 8 ply and a 5 mm crochet. I could have used very any hook, but I decided to go for 5 mm because the stitches are going to be bigger and certainly more easier to see. First thing first. We are going to start with a chain. To start a chain, you need a slip knot. There are many different ways to do a slip knot. I am sure this is not the only one you will find on YouTube. The way I like to do it is to round the yarn around my finger, like that, and pull. The yarn. As I said, this is absolutely not the only one you will find. There is no right one, no wrong one. It's just the way I like to do it. Don't make it tight on the hook, otherwise you won't be able to put your hook through. Like that. I like to hold my yarn like that. And yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. It's really, it's quite easy to do. For most of projects, you are going to start with a chain. So what you do is start with the number of chain you need. And if you do a single crochet after, just add one chain and start in the second one. Single crochet. So you create a chain the length you really uh, want or need. And you add one. That's when you start from a chain. You are not going to work in this very first one. You are going to work in the second one. Now, there is different way to start in a single crochet from a chain. It can be either using this one, the one on the top here, putting your hook here, or depending on the project, using the third one that is on the back. For this tutorial, I'm going to use this one because it's the easiest to see on the camera. Usually, uh, if I do a project where on a, we are going to see this end, I like to use the third one, just make it neater. Otherwise, it don't really matter if you are going to put together and see both sides. I don't think it really matter. Okay, let's start. As I said, we are not going to work in this very first one, but on, in the second one. 
put your hook through yarn over pull a loop yarn over pull through the two loops that are on the hook put your hook hook through the chain yarn over pull and you have two loops on your hook yarn over and pull through the two loops that are on your hook again hook through the chain yarn over pull two hoops on the hook yarn over pull again go through the chain yarn over pull two loops yarn over pull again Go through, yarn over, pull, yarn over, and you go through the two loops. Again, go through, yarn over, pull, two loops, yarn over, and go through. Again, go through, yarn over, pull, two loops. Again, go through, yarn over, pull, two loops. Yarn over, two loops, yarn over, pull. Go through, yarn over, go through the loops, two loops, yarn over, pull. Don't yarn over for a single crochet. Pull. And this is the very last one. Yeah. Yarn over, pull, two loops, yarn over, pull. Okay. So this is how it's going to look like. Now, that was a single crochet from a chain. If you start a single crochet from previous row, a row already made, you chain one. And this time you are going to start in the first one. And you put your hook, ah, you put your hook here, through. And you must have on your hook two bits of yarn that are creating the top of the previous row. You yarn over, pull, yarn over, go through two. Again, you've got two on your yarn over, pull, two loops, yarn over, go through both. You go here. Okay, you always check you've got both. Yarn over, pull, two loops, yarn over, go through two loops. Got here, to your right. Yarn over, pull, two loops, yarn over, go through. Again, go there. Okay, yarn over, pull, yarn over. Again, yeah, yarn over, pull, yarn over, go through. Again, here, it's true, see, uh, two loops, yarn over, go through. I'm going to finish the row together.
one and two. And this is your row of single crochet. Now, in the little booties, I also used a single crochet back loop. This part here. Yeah? To do that, I'm going to chain one first because I start a new row. You are not going to pull your, put your hook there, you see, as you did. Well, actually, I'm going to leave it because you are going to see. This is the front loop. This is the back loop. So you are going to put your hook in the middle here. Front loop back loop so you are going to put your hook here and just do your single crochet in the back loop like that again you go in the back loop really do yarn over full throw yarn over go through the two loops back loop here yarn over pull through yarn over pull through the two loops i do my stitches very loose just because it's more easy for you to see where i put my hook so here front loop back loop we go through the back loop only yarn over Pull, yarn over, pull through the two loop. Back loop only, yarn over, pull, yarn over, pull through the two loops. Back loop, yarn over, pull, two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through the two loops. Back loop. Back loop, yarn over, pull, yarn over, pull through the two loops. Back loop, yarn over, pull, yarn over, pull through the two loops. Back loop, yarn over, pull, yarn over, pull through. Back loop only, yarn over, pull, yarn over, pull through the two loop. Back loop, yarn over, pull, yarn over, pull through the two loop. Back loop only, yarn over, pull, yarn over, pull through the two loop. I'm going to make so first before here the difference between single crochet and single crochet in back loop here you have yes you can see it better like that here this part is going to be the first loop is going to show because you work on the back loop only i'm going to make a few row of single crochet in back loop only and i go back to you I made four rows of single crochet back loop only. That was the first one here, second one here. So the second one I went, so this on this one I crochet that way. On the second one I turned my work. So the back loop, the first loop is here, and you've got on this side this design. You see the difference? It's create a little rib, actually. If you look at it like that, it's a little rib. And the first loop is here, always. Now, 
Now, the third stitch used in the body is the half double crochet. I use the half double crochet. I change my body again. I use the half double crochet here. This is half double crochet. I'm going to show you how to do it. I already chain one at the end of the row, so I'm not going to start again. For half double crochet, I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook here exactly as you do for a single crochet, no usual single crochet. If I wanted a half double crochet back loop, now you know it, you will go only in the last one. Just this is just a simple, usual, basic half double crochet. Okay, let's do that together now. Yarn over. Put your hook through the previous stitches. Yarn over. Pull through. And you have one, two, three loop on your hook. Yarn over. And you go through one, two, three. So you go through all of them. Yarn over. Yarn over. Pull. One, two, three. I'm right. Yarn over. Go through. Basically, is the same way. You are going to work exactly the same way that you do for the single crochet. Only difference before inserting your hook here, you yarn over. You insert your hook, yarn over, you pull. Three loops, yarn over, you go through. Yarn over, insert, pull. Yarn over, you go through. Yarn over. Insert, yarn over, pull, three loops, yarn over, go through, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull, three loops, yarn over, go through, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull, three loops, yarn over, Pull through, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull, one, two, three, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert. Yarn over, pull, one, two, three, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull, yarn over, pull through, chain one, turn your work. This is half a double crochet. Here I have three rows of half double crochet. So single crochet, single crochet in back loop only, and one, two, three row of half double crochet. Next stitch is I want to show you for and that I use in my bodies is the half double crochet in the third loop which is going to create this little band yeah this design so uh, half double crochet in the third loop what you are going to do let's see when you do half double crochet you go through the, all that is here and you have these two loops on your hook. 
If you want to do a half double crochet back loop only, you will go here on the back loop. Where is the third loop? Third loop is behind your work. First one is always a bit tricky and it will be this one. Yeah. Let's see if I can. Yarn over. I'm going to try to find this first, very first. Yeah. Pull through. Yarn over. Pull through three. Yarn over. Your third loop is here. Mm. Can you see it? Yeah. Yarn over. Pull through. Yarn over. Pull through. Yarn over. You go back there. Your third loop is here. Oh, yes, third loop. Yeah. Yarn over. Pull through. Yarn over. Go through. So, and what is going to do? You see. That is going to pull in the front the two loops that are on the top, like that. So you yarn over, you go for your third loop, yarn over, pull, yarn over, pull through. Okay, yarn over. Go and look for your ah, third loop. Yarn over, pull through. You see? Yarn over, yarn over, pull, yarn over, yarn over, third loop, yarn over. Pull through, three loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, go for your third loop, yarn over, pull, yarn over, pull through, see, yarn over, you go behind, and you look for your third loop, yarn over, pull, Yarn over, one, two, three, pull through. Yarn over, go behind, go for your third loop. Yarn over, pull, three loops. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, you go behind. For your third loop, you yarn over, pull, you have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, behind for your third loop, yarn over, pull, yarn over, pull through all the loop on your hook, yarn over, behind for your third loop, don't have the right one. Let's start again. Yarn over, go behind for your third loop. This one don't want to come. Yarn over, pull, yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook. Yarn over, behind for your third loop. Yarn over, pull, yarn over, Pull through. Yarn over. You go behind. This one is going to be tricky. Yarn over. Pull. Yarn over. 
pull through all loops. And this is the result of your half a double crochet in the third loop only. The two loops that are usually on top are going push in the front of the design like that. Before we start with your, our next stitch, I quickly made a row of half double crochet. Each is two double crochet together. For that, I'm first going to show you how to do a double crochet. You are going to chain two, the beginning. You yarn over, go through having the two loops that are on the top on your hook, yarn over, pull, yarn over and you pull through one and two, not three, otherwise you do a half double crochet. You have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through the last two loops. That's a double crochet. Let's do another one. Yarn over, go through, yarn over, pull, yarn over, one, two only, yarn over, and through the last two. Now, that's a double crochet. I want to do two double crochet together for my design. What I'm going to do is start with the first double crochet, yarn over, Insert the hook, yarn over, pull through. I've got one, two, three loops on my hook. Yarn over, I go through one and two. And usually, if I want to finish my double crochet, I yarn over and I pull through. Here, I'm just going to leave it as it is. It's a double crochet that is just half done. I yarn over. I insert my hook through the next one, not in the same, in the next one. Yarn over, pull. I've got one, two, three, four. Yarn over, pull through one and two only. Can you see here what I've got? I've got a double crochet that is half done and here another double crochet that is half done. Now we are going to finish that. I yarn over and I pull through one, two, and the three loops that are on my hook. And here you can see I have one, two double crochet created in one single stitches. So two double crochet together. Let's do that again. Yarn over. I insert my hook. Yarn over. I pull. Yarn over, one, two, and I stop here. And I start my next double crochet. Yarn over, I insert my hook, yarn over, pull through. One, two, three, four, four. Yarn over, one, two. I've got three. One, two, three loops. Yarn over, one, two, three. Again. Yarn over, and insert the hook. Yarn over, pull. Yarn over, one, two. Two loops. Yarn over, insert in the next stitch. Yarn over, pull. One, two, three, four. Yarn over. Go through the first two only, yarn over, one, two, three, finish the, the stitch. Again, yarn over in the first stitch, yarn over, and pull. Yarn over in the second stitch, yarn over, yarn over, one, 
Weer oeps. Ja, nog wel. En swing. Again. Ja, nog wel. In de first. Pull. Three loops. Ja, nog wel. One, two. Ja, nog wel. In de second one. Ja, nog wel. Pull. Four loops. Ja, nog wel. Go through the first two. Ja, nog wel. Go through the last three. Here yeah, I'm going to finish by a, sim a simple double crochet just to finish my row. And you see what it does? It reduces the number of stitches in my row. Let's do that again. So I'm going to start not with one chain one, but two chain. And I'm going to start here. Yarn over. Insert. Yarn over. Pull. Three loops. Yarn over. One, two, two loops left. Yarn over, insert in the next. Yarn over, pull. Yarn over, pull through two. Three loops on the left. Yarn over, pull. Yarn over, insert. Yarn over, pull. Three loops. Yarn over, go through the first two. Yarn over in the next stitch. Yarn over. Pull four loops. Yarn over, go through the first two, three loops. Yarn over, go through the last three. Yarn over, insert. Yarn over, pull three loops. Yarn over, go through the first two. Yarn over, next one. Yarn over, pull. Four loops, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, go through the last three. Yarn over, yarn over, pull, three. Yarn over, go through the first two. Yarn over in the very last stitch for me. Yarn over, pull, one, two, three, four. Yarn over. Go through the first two, yarn over, go through the last three. Yeah, I'm going just to, and you see, I've got less and less stitches in my row. These are all the stitches you are going to need to make these little booties. A tutorial for these bodies is available in my YouTube channel. I'm going to add a link in comment below. Uh, 